Rangipoa Dam at the bottom of the Kaimanawa Ranges. Lovely little spot halfway down the desert road. One of those little roads that pokes off to the side. <gasps> Always wanted to go down one of those little roads and today I did. Come exploring with me. Before we get into the good stuff, just want to remind you that if you like the channel, please make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications. Thank you. The time has come, unfortunately, that I have to leave the Central Plateau and all its beautiful lakes and the Waikato River in particular and head south towards Palmerston. So I hit the road and ended up in Turangi for a night, but honestly, I got really bad, bad vibes about that way, that place. Um, officious uh, camp custodian at the NZMCA park and... When I went to the New World, it was the same, um, officious people. So I didn't really like it. <laughs> so I only stayed there a night and then um, jumped in my truck again and took off. So I was looking uh, on our travel app that we've got and was looking for uh, another place to stay. And do you know, I've driven down the desert road, which, you know, sort of follows underneath... Um, um, Narahoe and um, Tongariro Mountains and I've never ever really stopped on that road or gone off to, on any of the little roads that are off to the side so I found a freedom camping spot <laughs> right next to a dam of course <laughs> and um, decided to uh, have a look at it so come exploring with me uh, I only stayed here for a night but it was quite an interesting night anyway this is the road down. It's a little bit steep, but handled it fine in the truck, so no problems. There's the road over to the dam. Down here is the first of the camping spots. It's got river access down there. And it has the added bonus of getting the morning sun and the sound of the dam working isn't as uh prevalent over here but you do get that lovely rushing water sound i've had to turn it off for the video because it was so loud you wouldn't be able to hear me talking there is no view from this particular camp because the um, bushes have grown up so that's that campsite over there and this is the view you get from the dam you can see all the beautiful bushes around there's the dam workings and on the other side where the water comes out when you head down there you end up at the power station somewhere <laughs> across the dam there's a track that goes up to the left there and I thought it went up into the Kamanawa Forest Park, but it was actually only an access track going to the other intake pipe. If you turn to the right on the other side of the dam, there's a roadway that goes right to the end. It's right next to all that beautiful bush, and that's where I decided to park myself. Unfortunately, it was right next to that which was the mechanical workings of the dam <laughs> and if you follow the road down you get to a little turning place um, where a guy parked for the night a bit later on and you get the afternoon sun on this side of the dam and you also get the beautiful view and it's the, pretty much the only spot you can get a view here's a few of the photos I took while I was there. And then I decided to go exploring up that track that I thought went <laughs> to the <laughs> Kaimana, Kaimanawa um, Forest Park. Didn't go very far as I said, but it had some really gorgeous old trees. And look at that against the blue sky. I just love the native bush in New Zealand. It's just 
really cool. And I left the sound on for this particular part of the video so you could hear what I had to listen to all night. Well, no, not all night, all day actually. I only managed a night in that place because unfortunately the sound of that machine just going on and on and on, it stopped at, um, well I fell asleep at about 11 I think, half past 10, 11 and it was still going when I fell asleep. It, when I woke up during the night it was off though but it started again at 8.30 the next morning. <laughs> so it was a one night stop at Rangipo Dam. No sunsets this time, sorry folks. I think the hills were just too high or I don't know, but I was waiting, 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 but no sunsets. Never mind. I hope you enjoyed my little side trip to Rangipo Dam. The next stop is Wauru. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please make sure to share with all your friends and subscribe to the channel because there'll be more up soon.